In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this 12 months timeline infographic template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added uh, the months and I've given some different color combination for each month. Then you can put the month name here and then you can put the first step, which you have to do it in Jan. And then you can add some detailed text and you can add some icon to it. So similarly, I did the same thing for the February step to March step three like that till December is step 12. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, if you are using the old version, there is no problem using it. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangles draw the rounded corner rectangles this much size and you can see this orange point just drag this outside to make it less curve shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white then i'm going to insert a table here to insert the table go to insert tables and here i'm going to add six columns and six rows so one two three four five six and one two three four five six so totally I have added six columns and six rows. So I'm just going to align this one, make it down till here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is go to the table design, remove the banded rows, untick the header row. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. Now I'm going to select all this shape fill, or you can put the shading shading i'm just going to make it as no fill and then i'm going to give only some borders here so first of all what is the size of the border you need you need to select that one so i'm going to give maybe one and a half points and the pen color you can give any gray color pen and then i'm going to the borders and here i'm going to select the first of all is inside horizontal border so it looks something like this and then go again and then go select the top border and select the bottom border that's it so now you can see here there are four uh, actually there are six uh, this one uh, the rows or sorry the columns but i cannot see exactly where it is starting and where it is ending so what i'm going to do is for the time being only i'm just going to give the borders which are inside okay and later on we can delete that part okay first of all for this one i'm just going to reduce this size and this one i'm going to keep it like this so actually this is the place where i'm going to add some different colors and i'm going to add the month's name here these are the description and this part is for the icons all right so let me just do the same thing here let me just reduce the size a little bit press ctrl z if any changes and here also I'm just going to reduce it so now the first one what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and go to the table design and start adding the colors of your choice so you can see here I'm just filling the color here whichever color which you feel uh, or depending on your requirement you can add those colors here you can see here some random colors I'm just adding it here so depending on your requirement you can just add any color of your choice all right so again here also i'm just going to do some random colors you can see here uh, if we just go to the shading and start adding different color combinations so i'm here adding some different different colors all right and maybe this color so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this column hold the shift key and not the shift key sorry the control key let me just select this one again hold the control key select only these two columns i've selected go to the home you can see here i'm going to give the font name as roboto or any other font of your choice make it bold center align you have to go to the layout and select this option also which is the center vertically select that options now start typing again you can see here this is again for this also i need to select this one and this one 
and here also let me just that is selected so now here i'm going to type say january all right so here january i'm going to type in capitals and this font i need white so again i'm selecting these columns go home and make this as font as white so i don't know why it's not been selected yeah and this also make it roboto i mean this is also roboto yeah so january then just add the month's name here march april may june come here july august september october november and if you feel that the space is not enough you can just reduce increase this size okay or you can increase it from this side also so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the step zero one and enter key add your detail text here okay so step one this information again you can choose any font of your choice i'm going to choose roboto and this one i can make step one as bold and this one i can reduce the font size you can see here something like this and maybe you can give some gray color here same thing i'm just going to copy and paste it here and just delete the unwanted space which is adding up here you can see here one extra line it's adding and the font also is not changed we need to change it manually one by one so again let me just do it here copy we can see here copy and paste it here or control v only because once you need to copy so you can see here all right so once this is done again reduce the size to 14 like this you can just reduce one by one so due to some reason i don't know why while copying it is not put the same font size okay so let me just do it quickly one by one okay so once this is done what you need to do is you need to add some icons all right so let me just finish this off yeah it's done so to add the icons go to insert icons and here randomly i'm going to choose some icons you can see here two three i need uh, total 12 icons so you can see here some random icons i'm just selecting 10 11 and 12 click on insert move this here and size make it 0.5 only and graphic fill make it no fill graphic outline make it maybe a dark gray color and if you want you can just increase the weight of that all right now start copying it here you can see here so just put it here one by one for each step so you can see here it looks something like this yeah and then the last one 